Let's continue with our end of season player reviews and up next is our captain fantastic Jose Fonte. Nick, what do you remember of his season? He played 37 games and only missed one game out. Yeah, I mean, Jose Fonte's been, been a great servant of the club and he's been a steady servant to the club. You, I, I don't think he's been as good this season as last season, but last season, you know, he was, he was pretty damn good as they say, but he's getting on a little bit now and we've got to look at some stage of replacing him. Uh, you know, every player comes to a stage where they just get a little bit over the hill and that. And I, I felt in the first half of the season that that might be Jose Fonte. I thought that this might be a season too far. But in the second half of the season, he proved me wrong, stepped up to the plate. And part of that might be, you know, with Fraser Forster back, you know, central defenders with a good keeper who organises and safe feel a lot better. But he come back strong in the second half of the season. Um, you know, the trouble is, there's no, you know, with Fraser Forster and Virgil van Dijk, you know, they're nailed on. There's no one you know in backup that can even touch him there's no pressure on him and sometimes you know pressure helps a defender and that probably did at the end of the season when we had the pressure of trying to finish in the top five so Jose Fonte great servant to the club been here a number of years now unfortunately it, it, it'll be sad in the next couple of years you know he just can't keep going no one can I don't think so that's not a, a slur on, on Jose so you know Eight and a half out of ten for him this season for the way he's come back in the second half and continue to play well in the Premier League. Class summarise his performance for us this season, mate. I, I think he's been great. I think Jose Fonte is our John Terry, mm. really, for Saints. He's he's come from League One with us all on our journey all the way through. And, it, you know, every time we step up, you think, is he going to be good enough? And he's, he's proved it. I'd agree with Nick that signs are showing pace-wise that he's it's not exactly being found out but he's struggling a little bit more in terms of that that comfortableness to move the ball onto the midfield but you're playing against the, some of the top strikers in Europe yeah. you know and, and it's it's not easy but he's or even he's, in the world even in the world exactly and he's he's done he's done very very well I I think again a bit like Calvin Jose's got a long time future with Saints they, they, they gave him a four year contract mm. last season yeah. Yeah. which was quite surprising at his age but I think I understand he's taken his, his coaching qualifications mm. and I just listen to him when he talks and I, I don't know why, I've got this hunch that he's going to be a manager in the future. Mm. I, think, I think a manager or a top coach, he will, have a, he will have a very good future. He's got a fantastic attitude and clearly Koeman loves him mm. and as, as being a leader of the pack, yeah. as it were. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'd, I'd give him... I'll give him actually eight and a half, I think. Yeah. I, think I think I'll agree with these two here. Eight and a half out of ten for Jose Fonte, a full house from, from all three of us. But let us know in the comments below what you make of his season. Uh, he's certainly going to be here for a long time and hopefully we'll see a testimonial for him too in the hopefully not too long future. Anyway, subscribe for more. Now's your chance to win yourself a very own Ugly Inside t-shirt, Northern Soul, or a Red and White Machine t-shirt. All you've got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and just leave us a comment in any single video and we'll pick out one of our favourites in a couple of weeks' time.